Ladies and gentlemen, Presidente, amigo, hermano, I'm very proud to be here tonight to help launch the foundation of my Colombian brother. And I don't use that word lightly or sparingly. Now, philanthropy, in its purest sense, its most ancient roots, is being free enough to give without an expectation to get. It is the courage to contribute to a cause whose conclusion you may never see nor benefit from. Oceans of impact, drops of glory. Now, I have studied leadership and leaders my whole life. And I have admired most the philosopher king leadership model. 3D leadership. 4D leadership. The notion that known visible decisions of today will create unknown invisible reactions tomorrow. How to best control those? How to best manage these known unknowns, but always with the right blend of wisdom and empathy to govern, not just simply rule, to keep the we, not just the me, us, not just I. The philosopher king. Ivan, you have done this. You are this. You will be this. I told you once, man. You are a rocket ship. This foundation will propel you and what you stand for to your next term of office. A different type of office. A global rocket ship powered by Colombian fuel. Your best is yet to come. And it could not come at a more necessary time. I see today many leaders in front of me. But what about tomorrow's leaders? Who will be sitting in these chairs a generation from now? Well, my new favorite program of the new foundation is one we are proudly supporting helping to develop the talent of tomorrow. Wearing the hat of Libra Philanthropies, we are sponsoring, in partnership with the foundation, 120 future leaders from this wonderful nation that you all love so much. Who I expect will be sitting in these chairs in front of me many years from now. And we will need them in these chairs because the problems ahead of us are so difficult and complex. So many of the easy problems have already been solved. Just read the books of history. We are all the product of the price of progress. Thank goodness, in a way. But you know, I've never done easy in my life. You, Ivan, when have you done easy? Nunca. We don't do easy. We don't want easy. We are not moved to act by that which is easy. Neither our history nor our future is shaped by what is easy. They are both shaped by what is hard. This foundation will not be about the easy. Now let me tell you a story, please. 18 months ago, I came with my brother Nick and my friend Matt Swift to Cartagena to visit the president. We spent two rich and profound days together discussing many important, critical matters representing our respective interests. I was about to leave for the airport. The president and I were sitting alone, reflecting. And he said to me, George, 
you cannot imagine how the last two days have helped me. <laughs> I looked at him and said, Ivan, you cannot imagine how the last two days have helped me. I then got up to leave. He said, no, you cannot leave. <laughs> I said, man, I have to go. He says, George, I have a gift for you. Please wait. I said, okay. I started to think, is it a plaque? Is it an award? Is it a certificate? And we waited. People running around. Everyone was waiting for this gift. And then a member of the presidential staff ran in, and the president of Colombia presented me with a hammock, unamaka. And then the following happened. Raise your right hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like what's going to happen in the future? I, George Logothini, I, George Logothini, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, to use a Colombian hammock, to use a Colombian <laughs> hammock, to read, to read, to think, to think, and enjoy, and enjoy the rest of my life, the rest of my life, as a chairman, as a chairman, and a contributor, and a contributor to change the world, to change the world. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Ivan Duque, a humane president, a philosopher king, 4D leadership, all with kindness and empathy, thoughtfulness and humanity. It is that humanity and generosity that you will bring to this new foundation and it is needed now more than ever. Democracy, what we cherish the most being supported the least. The now very visible and immediate distortion and destruction of nature itself. The deficit of hope that is prevalent. We see it everywhere. So we need you and we need this foundation. These new problems will not be solved by old answers. The solutions to them do not reside in yesterday's realms. It will take new ideas, new energy, new insight. El sentido común hoy en día. Mankind and womankind. I'm sorry, not only mankind any longer. Not just the old, but the young. Not just those who have power, but those who do not. Please let me give you an example. Five months ago, I had a meeting with the Colombian ambassador to the USA, Murillo. A stoic and solid man. I told him of the history of my family, our group, our difficulties that were overcome, he then told me his. It was very similar, but very different. Common values, different geographies. Common themes, different circumstances. He was once the governor of the province of Chocó, the poorest in your country, with limited opportunity. But he said to me, we are ambitious. Nosotros somos ambiciosos, George. So I said, Mr. Ambassador, we are similar in many ways. Please allow us to help your people. Silence. I said, we will offer one spot from our global internship program to a promising young future leader from your province. It will not be easy. They will have to earn that position. They will have to work hard for that position. We will offer the opportunity. The ambassador was a little emotional. We did what we said we would do. Daniel from Chocó, who is going to be interning 
at Libra Group headquarters in New York for six months. Please stand up. One to a hundred, right? Be worthy. Work hard. Stand tall. I know that you will return to your country in June a hero. But remember, much is expected of heroes. And to all of you here today and watching on TV, I say this. Are you going to give more than you take? Are you going to stay unsavaged by the invisible bonds of fear? Can you obtain insight from whatever pain you endure? Can you still retain gratitude in spite of that very pain? Are you going to accept what is? Or aspire, aspire to what could be. Well, this foundation is showing us the way. No estamos nada que sea fácil. Y no deberíamos de ser algo de ninguna otra manera. Thank you. <laughs>